Well, hello everyone. Um, tonight I would show you some projects that I actually worked on today. Um, series of cards. It started out with this card um, that I made for my parents' 45th wedding anniversary, which will be this Friday. Um, I, a blog I follow um, by um, put together by um, a very talented artist named Betty, and I'll put a link to her blog. She had a link today for some vintage um, images where you could download for, for free. So I went over and grabbed some of the images, um, and I thought they were just really beautiful. Um, and I felt like doing something different than stamping. So this is the first card that I made. <coughs> And the background is um, just some pink cardstock that I have and the Cabbage Rose image, which I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's edged in a lilac chalk ink. The background is actually real lace that I stuck down. And then I went over the whole thing. I'm going to see if I can zoom in because I did this on a lot of them with uh, a Sakura jelly roll it's like a glittery type pen um, I did that on a lot of the images just to get them some depth so this will be my card for my parents so that's the first one with the beautiful cabbage roses and you know I just want to do something different than stamp as well so that was the first one and then I believe this was the second one, this Cabbage Rose. Um, and I cut it out by hand, went over again with the uh, glitter pen. I don't know if it's picking it up. Um, tied some ribbon. And then I also used a trumpet punch on the corners. And I lined the interior of the card with pink. And it actually goes pretty well. And I just love that organza ribbon. So that was the second one. Um, this one I believe I did third. Can't really recall. I made a lot of them. Um, so the back I just embossed with uh, my Cuddlebug embossing Swiss Dots folder and my Big Shot and tore some lilac paper and I had printed this image and this was actually a throwaway image because the colors weren't really good but I was trying to save it and I think I managed to so I rolled the corners and attached a little lace and a button and then this one I actually glittered with dazzling diamonds and this one a little bit different take, the same kind of embossed background. This is paper tape that I had gotten at a dollar store. Um, and the, most of these images are seed packets, you know, old seed packet images from the 1800s. This one is Dazzling Diamond again, and a cute little bow. I think this one I actually did second. I was looking for just something different to do. So the one flower at the top is the purple or lilac color. So that's why I used that. Use the ticket corner punch on the edges. Um, wanted to get a little bit of the organza ribbon in there, but in a different way. Um, this one is dazzling diamond as well. And then I ticket corner punched all the edges and went over in lilac chalk ink. This one came out a lot better than I thought. This was the next to the last one I did. Um, this is a guide to horticulture um, from 1805. It's an image. Um, this is the same paper tape from the dollar store. Just mounted it, made a frame on the back. This one this might be hard to tell, but the entire image I went over with that glitter pen. And some buttons, and just a little, I think that's uh, 
rose red ribbon. I especially like this one. It's actually kind of different. And then the last card that I did, um, this is again another seed catalog for Floral Park. There's no year, but it has a tiger lily in it. And this flower was kind of knocking around on my desk. And I thought, okay, kind of looks like a tiger lily or my version of one. And I went over the whole image in uh, with that same glitter pen because it dries really fast. And ticket corner punched the image and the mat and kind of a little bit of organza and a little tag. But kind of cute. Had a lot of fun with them. Um, I'll post the website on my blog, um, but you really should check it out if you're just looking for a little change of pace. So, seven cards tonight, which I did with my friend Lisa. We had a good time. So, I hope you like them, and I hope you try something new. Yeah, they all are. Okay, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye.